Now, the IMD has predicted that Goa will witness heavy to moderate rainfall at isolated places over North and South Goa district from the 9th to the 11th of September with a wind speed of gusting about 40 km per hour. However, rainfall activity is most likely to increase post 11th September. Namaskar, India Meteorological Department brings you daily weather briefing. If you, uh, if you look into monsoon activity during past 24 hours, then uh, 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 heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, with isolated extremely heavy falls have been observed over Saurashtra and Kutch. Extremely heavy rainfall has been observed, uh, 25 centimeter rainfall over Gir Somna district of Saurashtra and uh, other uh, many stations, 23 stations have received heavy rainfall that is uh, between 7 to 11 centimeter rainfall and 8 stations have received more than 11 centimeter rainfall between 11 to 20 centimeter rainfall over Saurashtra and Kutch. So, monsoon conditions have remained vigorous over Saurashtra and Kutch and active monsoon conditions have been observed over Gujarat region, West Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha, uh, Madhya Maharashtra, Northern parts of Madhya Maharashtra, Northern parts of Konkan and coastal Karnataka. And over rest parts of the country, the monsoon has remained uh, normal to weak. Now, if you come over to synoptic uh, situation over the entire country and over the sea area, then we can, uh, uh, yesterday's uh, uh, low pressure area, which was over, uh, over uh, uh, southwest MP and neighborhood and under, under the influence of which extremely heavy rainfall, vigorous monsoon conditions observed over uh, our Saurashtra and Kutch and active monsoon conditions over Gujarat region and uh, Konkan and uh, Madhya Maharashtra. So that low pressure area has become less marked today and there is uh, the remnant cyclonic circulation which is over central parts of uh, West Madhya Pradesh and adjoining East Rajasthan. And this uh, low pressure, uh, this uh, cyclonic circulation is extending up to upper tropospheric level and it is very likely to persist during next two to three days over this, over this region, over the region of uh, West Madhya Pradesh and adjoining East Rajasthan. <coughs> And uh, uh, the monsoon trough is lying to the south of its normal position and it is passing from uh, Jaisalmer to, to Guna and then it is going, uh, going to Ambikapur and uh, from there it is, uh, uh, from Ambikapur it is going into uh, our this uh, uh, Paradeep and from there to uh, East Central Bay of Bengal. And this monsoon uh, trough is very likely to continue to remain uh, south of its normal position for next 3-4 days. As uh, a low pressure area is very likely to form by tomorrow over uh, northeast and adjoining east central Bay of Bengal. And this low pressure area is also very likely to become more marked during uh, subsequent 48 hours and is likely to move across uh, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and uh, southern parts of Rajasthan. So, uh, if, we, if we look in view of this synoptic system, if we look uh, into the uh, weather warning for next five days, then what we find is that uh, under the influence of this cyclonic circulation or, over uh, central parts of West Madhya Pradesh are joining East Rajasthan, heavy to very heavy rainfall with uh, fairly widespread to widespread uh, light to moderate rainfall is likely over West Madhya Pradesh, East Rajasthan. Gujarat and Saurashtra and Kutch uh, during next 24 hours and this, then this rainfall activity is likely to reduce slightly and uh, although heavy to very heavy rainfall over East Rajasthan and Gujarat region would, would continue on 10th, 11th and 12th and 13th as well but uh, over West MP and Saurashtra and Kutch this rainfall is likely to reduce to just isolated heavy rainfall on 10th uh, and 11th. So, uh, under the influence of this system and also as this, uh, under the influence of this system, uh, isolated heavy rainfall is also likely over southern parts of Haryana on 10th of, uh, uh, on 10th and 11th of September. That is on day after tomorrow and uh, after day after tomorrow. And uh, this Uttar Pradesh is also likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall uh, on 10th and 11th of September. And as far as Himalayan states are concerned, Uttarakhand is very likely to receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall with fairly widespread uh, light to moderate rainfall uh, during next three days and uh, 
then after that there is no heavy rainfall possibility over uttarakhand and jammu kashmir uh, jammu division of uh, jammu kashmir ladakh bilgit baltistan and muzaffarabad is very likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall with a scattered light to moderate rainfall during next uh, 48 hours and himachal pradesh is likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall with fairly widespread rainfall during next 3 days and now if you come over to uh, our likely formation of uh, low pressure area by uh, 11th of september over northeast and adjoining east central bay of bengal then uh, in view of that low pressure area isolated heavy rainfall is likely over odisha and chatisgarh on 11th of september and then on 12th and 13th this rainfall intensity is likely to increase and isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely over odisha Uh, on 12th as well as on 13th and uh, isolated heavy rainfall is likely over north coastal andhra pradesh and chatisgarh on 12th and 13th and as we know that whenever a low pressure area forms over north bay of bengal the the lower level uh, westerly winds hitting the west coast uh, are strength are strengthened and under the influence of that uh, this uh, konkan and uh, south gujarat region receive Uh, very heavy to very heavy rainfall and sometimes even isolated extremely heavy rainfall so we have uh, we have given warning for isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall for gujarat region and uh, north konkan for 12th and 13th of september and also for coastal karnataka isolated heavy rainfall for 12th and 13th september and september and kerala also likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall during this period so entire this uh, west coast uh, will be receiving uh, Uh, on uh, 12th and 13th centimeter fairly widespread to widespread rainfall light to moderate rainfall and uh, isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall over konkan and uh, heavy rainfall over uh, uh, coastal karnataka and kerala uh, and during this uh, our uh, uh, so that's all this warning hot spot are going to be this uh, odisha and chatisgarh and north coastal andhra pradesh uh, from day 4 onwards and uh, this gujarat uh, state and east rajasthan are very likely to continue to remain the heavy rainfall warning hot spot during next 5 uh, days as we can see from the orange color given here and uh, this konkan would again reemerge as warning hot spot from 12th of september in view of likely formation of low pressure area over northeast and adjoining east central bay of bengal and over this uh, Uh, northeast india would uh, likely to continue to uh, uh, remain warning free zone for uh, next 5 days although today we have just given isolated heavy rainfall possibility over uh, 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 western parts of assam and mizoram and tripura but that's uh, only one or two stations are likely to receive uh, uh, around 7 to 10 cm of rainfall and if you come over to delhi rainfall forecast then as we can see there is a uh, this cyclonic circulation over uh, west uh, west madhya pradesh so under the influence of this uh, cyclonic circulation over west madhya pradesh the rainfall uh, uh, today and tomorrow that is on 9th and 10th just light uh, or uh, light rainfall possibilities over delhi on today and light to moderate rainfall up to 2 3 cm rainfall possibility over uh, on on tomorrow that is on 10th of september but on 11th of september this rainfall uh, intensity is likely to increase to uh, around uh, maybe around 4 to 5 cm and that's why orange color has been issued from india meteorological department and then again from 12th and uh, 12th september uh, uh, september onwards this uh, rainfall intensity over delhi would decrease Uh, on 12th uh, to light to moderate rainfall and on 13th september uh, to just light rain uh, rainfall and on 14th september it is only very light rain so that's all for today tomorrow we will again meet for uh, with uh, with weather warning for next 5 uh, days uh, till then thank you and goodbye <music>